bird feeders in the squirrel buster family that look similar, but there are slight differences. Let me show you what they are. The squirrel buster mini is the smallest. It holds under a pound of bird seed. The standard holds 1.3 pounds and the legacy is the largest. It holds 2.6 pounds. If you have a lot of birds, we recommend the legacy. That way you won't be refilling it as frequently as the standard and the mini. Both the legacy and the standard come with an adjustable spring mechanism, which means this way you will be able to control which size birds you want to feed on these feeders. The mini comes with a factory setting. All three feeders are filled the same way. Remove the hook, lift the shroud, and pour seed into the tube. Happy squirrel free bird feeding. You've purchased a perky pet seed feeder and you want to attract wild birds to your yard. If you've had a problem with squirrels raiding your feeders, you'll want to take these suggestions into consideration. Squirrels can jump horizontally as far as 8 feet and as high as 4 feet, so you may want to hang your feeder from a pole. Place the pole 10 to 12 feet away from the nearest tree or fence. Make sure the bottom of the feeder is at least 5 feet from the ground. You can also accessorize your feeder with added protection from squirrels by adding squirrel-resistant baffles. There are two types, bottom-mounted and top-mounted. The bottom mounted is cylindrical and is placed directly on your pole. Make sure it's at least 5 feet from the ground. The top mounted baffle is typically dome shaped to prevent squirrels from reaching down to the feeding ports. There are also feeders designed especially to be squirrel resistant. There are several different styles of squirrel resistant feeders. The first line of defense are feeders with metal ports and caps. This prevents the squirrel from chewing on the plastic ports. Caged feeders also prevent the squirrels from damaging the seed ports, but allow the birds to perch freely. Weight-activated feeders are the most successful. They close off the seed ports when the squirrel jumps onto the feeder. Look for a spot to hang your feeder that is comfortable, safe, and suitable for viewing. Perhaps on a porch, deck, patio, or a window overlooking the yard. You'll still want to find a spot in your yard that's bird friendly. An ideal location will offer birds nearby cover and protection. Place your pole or squirrel proof feeders within 50 feet of bushes and shrubs. You'll also want to make sure your feeder is sheltered from the wind so the birds can feel safe and secure. With these simple steps, you can prevent squirrels from spoiling your bird feeding and viewing pleasure. Tray type feed inlets and hexagon habitats. The hexagon-shaped roof can shade birds from the sun and rain. The bird feeder can hang anywhere to beautifully complement space. Easy to open and close, and equipped with a lock to prevent seed loss. Have a large capacity that can hold up to 2.15 lb of seeds, such as mixed seeds, peanut chunks, black oil sunflower seeds, safflower seeds and cracked corn. Beautiful gazebo bird feeder, perfect courtyard decoration and excellent attract birds installation. How to clean your bird feeder. Please check the tree bird feeder once a week to see if there are insects or fungi, and wash it regularly with neutral soap and aqueous solutions. The heavy-duty plastic bird feeder is durable and suitable for attracting birds all year round. The bird feeder can attract red finches, bluebirds, starlings and more. This is a great gift idea for parents, nature lovers and children. Feeding birds is fun. It's easy. And all you need to do is follow the birding basics. Birds find their food everywhere in the great outdoors. 
The food you put out for wild songbirds will help supplement their natural food sources. And it can bring your family the fun and excitement that comes from watching and listening to the birds that discover your feeder. There are three simple things to keep in mind when feeding birds. One, use the right kind of seed or food. Two, provide a source of water for drinking and bathing. Three, place your feeder in the right location. So let's start with what to feed your birds. Putting out a variety of seed and food will attract a wider variety of birds. There are many kinds of bird food available, including mixed seed or blends, niger or thistle seed, and specialty seeds like black oil sunflower. Wild birds are also attracted to peanuts, nuts, and dried fruits. Black oil sunflower appeals to the greatest number of birds, including cardinals, house finches, and chickadees. Finches will flock to finch mix or niger or thistle seed. Suet is another kind of bird feed that attracts insect-eating birds such as woodpeckers, chickadees, nuthatches, and titmice. Fresh fruit sources are attractive to some species of birds. For example, orioles, waxwings, and mockingbirds prefer fruits such as grape jelly, raisin soaked in water, or orange slices. Bluebirds like to feast on live mealworms. There possibly is nothing more captivating than watching hummingbirds feed. Hummingbirds are drawn to bright flowers and any kind of feeder that can provide sugar water or nectar. It's easy to make your own nectar, four parts water to one part sugar. Just make sure you keep the solution fresh and your feeder clean. Have fun experimenting. Try different kinds of seed and different types of feeders to attract a wider variety of birds over time. Water is also important to attracting birds and keeping them coming back to your feeders. Birds prefer an easy to find water source for drinking and bathing that is in the open away from predators. There are a variety of bird bath designs to choose from. Just make sure you keep the water clean and fresh. Where you locate your bird feeder is very important. Keep your feeder at least five feet off the ground to deter predators from getting to the birds. If you use a pole to mount a feeder, locate the pole at least 15 feet from any nearby tree or shrub and mount a baffle to discourage squirrels and raccoons from raiding your feeder. You can even set up a squirrel feeder to try to attract the furry critters to that food and help them resist the temptation of trying to get to your bird seed. If you hang your feeder from a tree limb, try a caged feeder to deter squirrels and undesirable large birds from taking seed from your songbirds. As for feeders, there are many types to choose from, including mesh and tube feeders for mixed seed, thistle or niger, and black oil sunflower. There are ranch feeders of various sizes and styles that hold mixed seed of all kinds. There are many styles of suet feeders that hold suet cakes, bells, or suet balls. And there are specialty and ornamental feeders that hold both thistle and mixed seeds. And don't forget hummingbirds and orioles, there are special feeders that hold nectar for hummingbirds and fruit and jelly for orioles. Use the correct seed for your feeder of choice to increase your chance of attracting wild songbirds. Some other birding tips. Store your seed in a secure container in a cool, dry place. Overheating can destroy the nutrition and taste of seed and damp seed can get moldy. Birds tend to visit feeders in early morning and later in the day. It shouldn't take songbirds very long at all to discover your feeders. Spread some extra seed on the ground to help attract birds to your yard. If you don't keep seed in your feeders on a regular basis, your birds will go somewhere else to find seed. Empty and clean your feeders at least twice a year with dish detergent and water. Rinse well and dry in the sun. Rake up spilled seed and hulls around your feeders to keep the area clean. Remember, select the seed and feeders that will attract the kind of birds you want to see feed in your yard. Place the feeder in a safe location that provides good viewing and also provide a source of fresh water.